90.3 KEXP, where the music matters. That's the Augustines here on the morning show. I actually, I know you've played with the Augustines. Yeah, good those friends guys. of ours. I was just telling you my World Cup story. Yeah. You know when I found the pop-up bar, Eric <clears throat> from the band was with me. Oh, really? It was a very weird night. That's interesting. Wow. He was following us. He was in London. We were in London. He was trying to find us, and we couldn't find a bar that was open. And okay. then he, my wife, and I yeah. all ended up at some weird pop-up bar and watch the U.S. match. So <laughs> it all is tied into our conversation. Wow. Yeah. Small, Anyways, tiny world. It is a small, tiny yeah. world. I know the Augustines are uh, friends and uh, big fans of yours. Absolutely. That yeah, tour right. was good? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I always like to give our, our fans like something that I think they can totally get into. And that, that, right. really, that really kind of was the case with that tour as well, you know? So it's kind of like a like a double whammy. Yeah, yeah, it made sense. Value for money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what they said too was, both artists were big fans of the other band. Which oh was, yeah, you like that? That's always great. You know, like uh, it's like this, I don't know, and it never really, I never really understand bands who are like you know don't don't want to get their friends on tour. Yeah, you know, as well. So it just makes the whole thing like a big group group hug feeling. That's, that's, you know, I saw, I remember seeing, you know, I went to a big, like, arena U2 show years ago. Right. My favorite band of all time is, is uh, the Pixies. Right. And so the Pixies were open. Okay. And then they didn't let them use the sound system. So yeah, it was like there's, this... all, there's all sorts of things like you hear about, <laughs> you have to be uh, 20% quieter than the main band and stuff. Like, I never really subscribed <laughs> to that. Awful. I think that's terrible, right? Because <laughs> then later I saw, like, Public Enemy open for them. And right. How well, do you bring is... them down 20%? Well, who who who's gonna make you two look bad in front of a bunch of you two fans? Right, like they're they're <laughs> they're there to see them. I think it's you can have enough confidence in your massive historic band 60, that you don't need to. Yeah, sixty thousand people have bought tickets. Pixies over. <laughs> oh crap! Pixies are better than us. Yeah, I know. Dang it! Everyone found out. Well, they are, but never mind. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I would agree with you there. But all right, Al John's here. Scott's here. Of uh, I say a frightened rabbit, but this both Al of us are here. Al John and me. Yeah, the the Al John record is so good that oh, I, I don't even want to. I don't know, discount is not the word, but I, I, I'm such a fan of your other band, and and this these songs just seem just a continuation of that for you. Is yeah, it? a little sidestep, really. Yeah. Um, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't, I don't want it to be a contrived move in a completely opposite direction. Right. Uh, I've I've always kind of felt that's that's there's some something cliched about like, well, this is my electro project. <laughs> Get used to it. It's drum machines and stuff in it. <laughs> I just wanted it to be a different process. That's the whole idea behind this was that this was going to be written differently, recorded differently to any Frightened Rabbit album and to get a sense of freedom back that perhaps has been, is naturally kind of lost when your band gets any kind of success. Right. Um, things change. And I wanted to get the feeling back that when I first started writing songs in my bedroom again, you know, for no one but myself. Yeah. And um, and it, it was very much like that. So although some of it, it's, there's a fam familiarity with the material on this record, but hopefully it's just like different enough to have a reason to exist. Did you get that back? <laughs> Did you feel it back? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Well, I, the, the purpose of, I mean, the other purpose of doing this record was I needed a, I needed a break from, from the band I think everyone did so this kind of was like look I'm going to take a couple months to do this um, you guys go do what you want uh, I had a cut I had Andy involved he's like uh, you know he's been really into production and engineering and it was good for him to like just sit on that side of the you know of the screen you know and, yeah. and just uh, and twiddle the knobs and what have you and he's really fantastic at that and um, yeah so it was just like a clap a cleansing of the palate, if you will, nice. you know, to try and get excited about being in Frightened Rabbit again. Whereas last year, towards the end of last year, yeah. I wasn't really. Yeah. Well, if it's I'm, good to catch that, right? Yeah. It's good to catch up before you say, I'm done. <clears throat> yeah. I, this The whole reason for this album existing is so that we can still do Frightened Rabbit. You I know? love it. That's yeah. good. Well, all right. Well, now you've set up the songs nicely, too. Yeah. So I'm, I'm ready to hear one. All right. This is called Red Hand. All right. Well, darling, show your hand Are you gripping some joker behind that back? And I won't beg to be told 
Will the friction burn on your palms as it all Red hand, red hand KEXP Red Hand here on the morning show. I know Cheryl Waters' favorite. She's made Great, it very yeah. clear. I, I just I met her in the hallway and she said she was <laughs> pleased that that one was happening. <laughs> she made very clear to me that's her favorite song. <laughs> Don't play that this morning. I love that song. Owl John here on the morning show played last night. Correct. At, at Barboza, yeah. At Barboza, good show. Oh, it was great. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've played upstairs before yeah. at Numos, and I think that was only it's only been there a couple of years. So yes, really yes. nice little place. I, I, I had uh, it's uh, just. Do you have, were you ever down there before it was Barboza in the basement? Was it just a storage? It was a lot room? different. Yeah, I, I think I might have ventured, but was it scary? <laughs> I remember it as scary, but usually when I was down there is after a few too many drinks. Uh, so okay, it, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little sketch for me. So the fact that they opened a bar there just seems to make sense. I thought that was right. That yeah, was no, good. it's a nice space. So. Those are good guys, uh, the Barboza Numos. Oh, yeah, no, it's yeah. great. They've always been good to us. Yeah, they've been, been friends of the station for years. Uh, we're going to talk about <clears> the new record a little bit more, if you have another one, though. I do, yeah, right. yeah. This is called Los Angeles Be Kind. You exhaust me, you know, bellowing black. Exhaust pipes and more And the smart won't wash from this unsuitable immigrant skin Such a villainous grace I don't know what you've done to your face Some nights I can't figure out quite where your heart is uh-huh. I 
get drunk just to feel I belong By a river so dry, it's barely a river at all And we suck one another at night And fire pistols to cover our eyes And we waltz unseen behind Hollywood's ballroom door No more headaches or fist fights We love each other, it just takes time All Los Angeles, be kind Take me to bed with a painkiller Say goodnight All Los Angeles, be kind Al John, live here on the morning show and played last night at Barboza and uh, the new self-titled debut. You've been hearing a lot of KEXP as well as his other band, Frightened Rabbit. And Frightened Rabbit, what, 2003 you guys started? Or 2004 something? is really when it came to be a, a thing that was beyond my bedroom and, and a four-track <laughs> tape machine. <laughs> what is that official day um, of a band sometimes? Is it your first show? Is uh, it first yeah, practice? I think it pr- well, it has to be the first, I think for me, it's the first time the, the Frightened Rabbit appeared on like a poster for a show or something, right. which was definitely 2004. I was still at college, only just. Um, so yeah. So you're in Scotland for years, obviously. Yeah. And uh, then moved to LA. I did. When was that? That was just March of this year. Really? Yeah. Well, obviously that song, I've well, a lot of the record is about that period of adjustment, you yeah. know, which was a big one because it's a, it's, I've, I've obviously I've visited LA many, many times, yeah. but it's very different visiting and living and trying to find your place somewhere. So, um, I think I'm still trying to find it. Well, when, <laughs> you know, I, I now spend some time in Scotland and spend plenty of time in LA. Very different. Yeah. Very, very different. <laughs> I know, I know. So I could see transition being an issue. Absolutely. I moved there for my girlfriend, um, yeah. you know, and that's completely worth it. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's just a, one of these places particularly. I, f- I feel like the Northwest up here, there's there are some familiarity yeah. for yeah. a guy from Scotland. Yeah, I was going to say. The rain being one of them. Yeah. One of those factors. But then... Down there, you don't get seasons, you know, and and I feel I can't complain about that to my friends in Scotland. They're like, "How's LA? Man, it's hot and sunny," and they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, well, great, right?" They're like, no, not necessarily. Uh, so it's, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. I saw similarities when I went there with the Northwest for sure. That I'll say one thing: the air was so clean and so yeah, like, it just felt good when we got there. Uh, and that never really went away for us. We felt really yeah. like at home there. Yeah, no, it's there. good. It's good, the fresh air. I mean, because I, I, never, I never owned a car in Scotland. Yeah. I didn't need one. Like, uh, it's not it's not large enough, and the public transport's great. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's just... Yeah, in L.A., they just hand you one in the airport. You're, like, <laughs> right, you're not exactly. going to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you can drive or not, apparently. <laughs> you go- yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Go ahead. You'd think, a, you'd think a, a group of people who have to drive all the time... It might be a little better. I don't. I'm just. It's, it's, it's really. It's not. really bad. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're in LA. You have to have a car. You've you've followed yeah. your girl there, which is a nice move, and uh, and this record becomes a part of that. Did the did the kind of burnout you talked about? Did that make that into the songs? Uh, sort of. I mean, yeah. I can't imagine it didn't. It's it on did. It, it did a little bit. Um, you know, there's like one song. I guess one clear song. It's called Hate Music, and that was really about how this. This the the thing that I love. I love I love writing songs. I love performing. Was the thing that was making me unwell. You know, like yeah. mentally, physically, I was kind of I was kind of falling apart. Um, because you know, it's like you have a- agents and management and what have you, and the label. None of them really think about whether or not it's gonna you know be fruitful for for the band to work that work that hard. Right. 
Um, and I don't mind working hard, but there's a level. And then, so they just book you. They're like, yeah, is there a gap? Well, let's do something on it then. <laughs> is there a couple of days off? Well, let's not have that. Let's, uh, you know, and, and to that, I, I get th- got thrown around, you know, from pillar to post, and it, and it just started to, to grate on me. So, you know, that cold creeps being about sort of, I guess, kind of starting to have weird little anxiety attacks and stuff like that. I do, it's, this is not a therapy session. It's No, uh, no, but I can even can charge sense, me at the end. <laughs> I can even sense hesitation, though, when you say it, because here you are doing what you love. Right. And that must be so difficult to l- do what you love and have any complaints whatsoever. And and some people probably like, oh, shut up. You're playing music. You, can't be that. Yeah. I mean, and so you got to feel that a little bit. Well, I, there's no one to talk to because there's, right. there's 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 four guys in the band who are pretty much going through the same thing you are. So are you gonna? You can't complain to them. And then I think you're right. A lot of people, I'm I'm. It's the same way that I don't necessarily want to complain about LA. It's like it's a, it yeah. can be a lovely on paper. It's a lovely place on paper. This is a lovely job, but it's uh it's a lot of pressure that I think, I, I you know some people don't get with their jobs. You know that's right. the thing that kind of can can wear you down. But you know. Uh, this album had to happen just to ensure the survival of Frightened Rabbit. Really, it, it was there a, like a come to Jesus moment for you, or was it was it just okay that I that's I got to take a break for something bad happens? Because in a lot of cases, bad happens before you get <coughs> a chance. So I think you're very lucky to feel in any job, whoever we're talking to right now. If you're feeling that, if you can catch that a little early, was yeah. there was there an instance? Was there a show? Was there a comment? Or you just looked at your schedule and went, really? There, well, I I looked this the schedule in advance. I stupidly didn't really do anything about. It. I just looked at it and thought, great, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> and without and then I'm in the middle of it. Towards the end, things were just like, I there was one show in Ireland where I performed the last two songs of the set in a fetal ball at the front of the stage, just like I just didn't want to be there, and 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 it was. And it was almost like at that point as well, because I hadn't been speaking to anyone about it. Yeah. After that show, they were like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. And, and I think I, I just, I partially did it because I was just like completely breaking down and partially to kind of just t- just to show them, like the people that were around me that I was absolutely, uh, uh, you know, on my last leg. So, so that was the one. Unfortunately, I, I met a friend after that show, and he was like, "Man, that was brilliant." They, they loved that bit at the end where I was like <laughs> weeping, uh, crying yeah. on the ground. That was awesome. He thought, "Well, it's emotional music, so you know, I guess it worked in that sense." But <laughs> it wasn't what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's at any job. I think it's clear. If you find yourself near the end of the day or the end of your task, and you're in a fetal ball, might be time. That's the time to, to catch yourself. Yeah, just to get a hotel room and see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and make your solo record. Yeah, uh, and it's not a solo record. You have help. You you make right. that very clear too. You're not on your own. You had no. help with this, so it's not like you just hid away from everybody. And I didn't. But it, it, it was. Uh, I'd never written with si- Simon, who is now a fully. F- fledged member of Frightened Rabbit. Um, at the time, I'd never written with him. Um, and like I said, Andy wanted to kind of um, cut his teeth in the production world. Um, but but yeah, I mean, that's an, uh, one, there are two reasons why I didn't call it Scott Hutchison. One is because I think it's a terrible name for a <laughs> for a band or whatever, or a project. It's just, you know, it's fine as a name, but sure, it doesn't sure, really, yeah. it's hardly Jeff Tweedy or any, you know, it's like one of those things where it's just like, it's not a cool name. Damn. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just didn't get that. Yeah, I didn't get it. And it's weird to change your name now. That yeah. would be odd. Like, you're right. in Fried Rabbit, you're Scott, you're from the band, and you're like, you know, this sucks as a solo name. I need a new one. Yeah. No. You got to do that from the beginning. Well, also, it, then, uh, and like you said, it, it kind of ended up not being a solo project, yeah. you know? So um, I'm taking all the credit, but those guys did some, uh, quite a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> all right, you got another song for us? I do. This, this one is? is? This is uh, This is called All I Want For Me Is You. This didn't make it onto the oh. solo record. Uh, my much, you know, for various reasons. But anyway, here we go. Oh, it's light now. It's light. I've been awake all night now. I'm deathly tired I'm tired of the earthquakes Kicking us to the ground Sick of the cursed ocean But 
between our filthy minds And I'll fall asleep with the TV on The pigeon purrs at the worthless dog Another diamond day creeps into view And I'm falling asleep to thoughts of us The faded spark of a far off touch And all I really want for me is you And it's dark now It feels like everyone died And I am the only living thing for miles I'm standing, breathing, take no cigarette smoke In the hope that you'll see it, you find me and drive us home And I'll fall asleep with the TV on, the protest cries for blood and bone and all I really care for is the truth And I'm falling asleep to thoughts of us But the details bleached, it's not enough And all I really want for me is Gunshot wounds and exhausted soul And all I really care for is a truce And I'm falling asleep to thoughts of us The whispered fears of a distant love And all I really want for me is you John, live here on the morning show, Scott Hutchison of Frightened Rabbit in town. Not much longer. I would. You're probably leaving. Yeah, yeah, leaving this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, me and my girlfriend are taking a road trip back to LA, so we're taking oh. the week off and gonna gonna head you, down the coastal route. You take the week, or how many days do you have on the road to get down? There? Yeah, like yeah. six, six or seven days. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. You know where you're staying? Do you already have that kind of planned out, or is it? Yeah, just. just um, we're definitely staying at the Madonna Inn in San Luis Obispo because <laughs> uh, I've, so oh, I've seen yeah. the pictures yeah. and it looks like a bit of a treat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but apart from that, we're kind of wing- winging it. Cool. Yeah, just uh, wherever we can find. Or we can find <laughs> You're just tired yeah. of driving. <laughs> yeah. I've driven that and done that. Just, okay, I think we're good here. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got sick on that freeway, though. I got sick on the, where you just go, you're going around up on the cliffs, and you're going around in circles through the- uh, Okay. That is so scary to me. Cause like it I get, is a little scary. Yeah. I got a little freaked out about it. It's beautiful. And I'm like, oh, this is gorgeous. And the trees and the ocean. And then after yeah. about 15 minutes, I'm going to throw up out the window. <laughs> well, let's see. If you're going south, are you on the, are you on the inside or the outside? The outside. <coughs> the outside. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, that, All right. Was that it? <laughs> yeah. I had that right? Whatever I was, that I was think on that's the outside. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it was so loopy that at one point it said, you know, I don't know, 100 miles to where I was going, San Francisco, whatever. And then I went a little further, it's 110. Like, how did we go backwards? Right. Okay. I yeah. That's <laughs> so you, you're down in LA and, and you're down there at such a, a crazy time for your home country of Scotland. I thought about this. Like, what was it like to be out of the country? When, no, I was in the country. Were you in the country? Yeah, I went back to play. I went back to play a show. Uh, it was just, uh, so Mogwai, ourselves, Franz Ferdinand, and a bunch of other Scottish artists uh, were involved in a show. I thought it was really important that I come back and just just to be in the country at this important right. time. So it didn't work. 
<laughs> I'm I'm assuming the artists for, wore for independence. They were, yeah, I'm yeah. That was the whole, the, the, it was amazing, actually. It was unlike any show I've ever played because it was everyone who was in the audience was also, you know, pro independence. Right. It was a yes yes campaign show, and um, uh, you just you could say anything about you could just say anything <laughs> in relation to Scottish pride, and it was just like. Ah, everyone fists in the air, and it was it was a wonderful evening. And and I think, I don't know. The funny thing about it is, there was a there was a sense of disappointment uh, right. on the, in the, on the part of the the yes voters for a couple of days, and now there's now there's kind of a sense of, well, this is just the start of something. Right. It might not be the right time for Scotland, but in generations to come, you know, if we continue um, to you know. To rally, then then this might actually change in the future. So, it was I w- I was there and I saw so much. You know, I've seen so much Scottish history because I'd never been there before. And then everything modern was about the independence vote, everything. Yeah, and it was interesting to see <clears throat> hundreds of years of trying to gain independence and yeah. you know and and I, to me I, I hadn't seen the polls and I'm like well this is a done deal everyone seems pro and I was actually I, so too. I was crazy. thrown off yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I don't know the ins and outs of both arguments but it just seemed in history why it's been you know this many people died and and these amazing people were involved yeah. and and now now we're going to vote now we have uh, the, the 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 main problem being the the media you know and I guess that's this, that's the same in a lot of politics is well, where yeah, they yeah. they will um, report as they as they see, or they didn't re- really have a pro yes campaign in any mainstream media. Really, it was all kind of, and it was all. I'm sorry, I'm getting into too much of a kind of polemic here, but it was it was really they had they had their work cut out, and and it was a, there was a the no campaign was just based on fear, like oh it might be oh it might not work. Right. I was like, well, is that really the attitude you want to take? You want to you want to just Scotland's the only country that's ever in history voted against being independent. Really? I, I find that embarrassing. Wow. Yeah. That's all part of Scottish history now. I guess. <laughs> it's all part of it. That, I did not know that. Yeah. I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to counter that, and it's nothing's... I love oh, history, I but I'm not true, coming up yeah. with anything. <laughs> um, and, 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 and again, you said like the artists and the, and the artistic community, creative community was pretty much that way. I mean, yeah, it's, that was, that on w- issues here, it's usually pretty, pretty Absolutely. clear. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, there were there were a few exceptions to the rule, but um, yeah, I think I think anyone who was um, heavily involved in economics uh, or you know financial, yeah. they were they were against it, and because they're you know there's like they may take a hit that I can understand that, and yeah. I can actually sure. totally understand that. But from my perspective, I think you know we have a. Scotland has such an amazing output culturally. Oh yeah, arts, uh, not just music, um, uh, theatre and visual art. Just is so strong for for a country of its size. I mean, Scotland's the size of a state. Yeah, you know, um, and uh, I think there's 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 something to be proud of there. And 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 I, f- I feel like the the great thing was the eyes of the world were on Scotland for a little while. Yeah, and and, and maybe there's more of an awareness of because sometimes when you're I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tar all Americans with this brush, but it's like so they'll ask something like, So Scotland, is that kind of in France? <laughs> you know. Right, okay. In so, our defense, we can't find Canada I'm not, for the most part. This is not you. So it's about fifty percent, can't this is this is a, this is the fifty year old lady at the <laughs> yeah, gas sure. station down in Tennessee, okay? It's not you. It's no it's nobody in Seattle. But um but yeah. <laughs> we can't find Canada now. You're asking us to find Scotland? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I was there and I couldn't find it. No, I found it. It was beautiful. The train ride up there oh, and yeah. just oh my lord! No, it's a gorgeous and place. And um, I can't oh. wait to get back. I'm sure you can't wait to get back. I, I've I've been back so often working yeah, with the band think, that yeah. I haven't really had the chance to miss it yet. But um, yeah, I mean, I think I think one of the most beautiful countries on on the earth. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, moving to LA for a girl, there's nothing wrong with that either. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's a totally worth thing. It. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I convinced someone to move three thousand miles for me. And it worked out really well. Yeah. So I'm I'm with you. Great. That's yeah, pretty, yeah. That's I, pretty long. That's a pretty good distance. Well, I don't care where I live. Like we could, we right. could, we could move down to that gas station in Tennessee, and I'd be perfectly happy as long as she was around. Oh, yeah. uh, that's a good. That's a song right there. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's sketch that down <coughs> for you. I'm what ten percent. <coughs> All right. You got one more for us. I got one more. This is an oldie. All right. In in, in name as well as in uh, spirit. Ah, 
turn off the TV It's killing us, we never speak There's a radio in the corner It's dying to make us see So give me soft, soft static With a human voice underneath And we can both get old-fashioned And put the brakes in these fast, fast the wheels Back to how things used to be And if I get old old fashioned Do you get old old fashioned with me? So we can see We will waltz across the carpet One, two, three Two, two, three So give me the soft, soft static Of the open fire and the shuffle of our feet Like they did in 43 Oh, let's get old-fashioned Back to how things used to be And if I get old-old-fashioned you get old-old-fashioned We won't need no electricity And if we both get old-fashioned We won't have to rely on our memory Oh, let's get old-fashioned Back to how things used to be And if I Get old old fashioned. Did you get old old fashioned with me? Oh, let's get old fashioned. Back to how things used to be. And if I get old old fashioned, did you get old old fashioned with me? Love that song. Thanks for playing it. Oh, no problem. Yeah, we play a lot of your music on uh, on the show. So, I, well, <clears throat> thank you for continuing to do that. Well, it's a nice opportunity. Thank you for making songs. And yeah. I and it's so good to hear you're healthy and happy. It's life's too short not to try to be both. And uh, yes, yeah. good to see where you're Absolutely. at. Absolutely, thank you. Yeah, and the road trip, man. I'm psyched for you. I'm jealous. That sounds so good to me right now. That's no, just, I know it's great. It comes yeah. off the back of you just spent three three or four weeks recording and demoing new Frightened Rabbit stuff, and then I did these three shows. I'm ready for a week off, so yeah, yeah it's gonna well, be great. Sounds like you're on top of things. I guess so. You think this round, Fried and Rabbit Two, are you just are you on it? Are you are you you're aware of the trajectory and what what you expected of you and feeling good about it? I'm feeling really good about it. I think um, it's funny. Like I don't know, album number five, you get into this. I I, I guess 
kind of a zone of confidence whereby you know it's like yeah we 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 know what we're doing now yeah. you know I think you, you can spend a, spend a couple of albums just like finding your feet, but by this point yeah we're we're old and wise enough and 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 also I think last time it's funny we just signed to a new major label and there was a real sense of distrust like you hear the horror stories about major labels right. And that, none of the none of my fears were proven, you know. Um, so uh, this time around, we just have this really great relationship with them, and I, and I, I'm really excited. We have like half a record written at this point. Well, good. So. Well, good for you. Well, again, enjoy your time off. Thank you. Come back again with the band when you're in town. Oh, we'll definitely. No and, doubt. Uh, yeah, we appreciate it. You've done a VIP show for us as well. And, uh, we yeah, I love those that. afternoon shows. They're great. I love it. They're, yeah, in the middle of the day, getting people out of work to come see I know. rock and roll music. It's, yeah. It makes me happy. It's really <laughs> great. No, it's a wonderful thing. So if we could get the chance to do that. I'd... You're always Anytime, welcome. anytime. Big thank you to everybody in this room helping out. And Kevin Suggs, of course, for making everybody sound good. And to you, everybody listening who makes these sessions happen. We are 90.3 K. KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.